So guys, like I said, I don't know how we are going to continue like this in this country because I have now calculated everything, every single thing I have spent money on from the market, from the local market, to the supermarket, to the Chinese market, to the roadside market, to Instagram, every single thing I have calculated and my total bill came up to... Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hi guys! Welcome back again to my channel. So guys, today's video, I'm basically going to be showing you guys how I go about my grocery shopping in a month and basically how I dissect my grocery shopping. So when I say a month, I don't necessarily mean a month. I do that, I do this every month, but essentially most of the food items actually last more than a month because we are only two people in this house. So yeah, I don't get to buy um, some things every month like rice and beans and uh, what else oil palm oil granite oil luckily for me i don't buy that every month in fact i if i, if I buy it like maybe two times a year another thing that we don't necessarily buy every month is milk and the reason for that is because me i have stopped taking animal milk so because of that like nobody really drinks milk like that in this house okay so in the month i basically buy things from three major places the first one is the open market um then the second place i get things from is the supermarket um, where i get my processed foods from i don't buy that from the open market for obvious reasons in this country don't try yourself and the third place i buy things from is instagram so yes as a millennial wife that is where i that's how i dissect my shopping so guys i know you can see me dressed like a I'm looking like a semi-mad person. I know my face might be looking white. That is because I am going to be applying sunscreen on my face. I'm going to apply it on my face. I'm not even going to rub it in. I'm going to just like slap it onto my face. Yeah, you guys, let's just start going. This intro is already very, 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 very long. <laughs> most of the things I bought but I just want to show you guys a few of the major ones like what the quantity look like this is the dry fish I got each of each one of these cost 500 naira please be letting me do be letting me know down in the comment section if they cheated me I got this this is stock fish so I got this for 400 naira and it is stock fish I got two of this which was 800 then I got white pomo so I got a lot of it here for um about 1000 naira so i also bought goat meat and the goat meat i bought was 5200 naira in terms of chicken i got chicken chicken i got was 4700 naira now to measure it, measure it in terms of how many pieces of chicken that um, amounted to that's about 35 pieces of chicken by the time they cut it into big big chunks I already packed them into like because i told you this is like for a month stroke maybe a month plus so I've decided to pack them up into different like sizes of um, bags. So yeah, I also bought a couple of vegetables. Um, yeah, I bought ugu for about 400 naira. And then I got water leaf. I got that for 300 naira. 
Then I bought bitter leaf and I'm using it for my igusti soup. But it was around 200 naira. I got four medium sized potatoes. Woo! And they basically, it cost me 500 naira. I think that woman cheated me, but in fact, I don't even know who cheated me and who didn't cheat me. So I got mangoes and garden eggs. Yeah, this contains about eight, eight mangoes. So I got eight, which was um, 400 naira. I also got garden eggs um, and about four of these cost 100 naira. I bought two. But yeah, so that is um, that's basically it from my sh local market shopping. Every other thing, like I said, I have. I have like a big bag of crayfish. I have rice. I have beans. I have oil. So this is just basically for like things that I'm not going to be consuming. You're old enough. To, you're old enough to know. Nobody gives a fuck. You're a holla now. You're old. You like to. He hates you when he fat. You take and take you fat. You're a holla now. You're old. If you see it I will jump on so slow. Hi guys so um, I have now completed my entire shopping and I just want to show you guys everything I bought I actually went to four different places and I have a number of receipts like the first place I went to was spa like this is the actual reality of Nigeria today because a lot of things are so expensive inflation rate is pushing 20% at this point so food is so expensive right now but i'll just show you guys what i got because for some people when i say the things i got they think in their head that it's bigger okay so the first thing i got that was very expensive was um omo washing detergent and it cost 3565 naira yeah it's 3.5 kg the second thing i got is like air fresheners which i just use around the house and in the toilet and around the um, wardrobe area and this one cost me 420 naira the next thing i got was um air week which is air fresheners i put in my toilet and i got four and this cost me 1000 naira so it's 250 naira for one and i got tissue paper this we got three packs of this it was it's 90 naira per pack, 1620 naira for tissue paper. Another thing I got is kitchen towels. I got three packs of this and it cost me 260 naira for one. So the total cost was 760 naira. Okay, so I got a number of snacks. I got these, which and each one was 50 naira. I got about four of that. I also got um, malted milk biscuits. I just like to use them for tea. 510 naira each so um 1020 1, naira i also got a spice which i would like to try out 865 naira i got jacob crackers and this is about 440 naira okay so i got a number of mixed vegetables um, peas and carrots and then this cost me 2590 naira i also got sweet corn which cost me 1425 naira and i got spinach which cost me 1435 naira i got chicken franc which cost me 680 naira each so it came up to 1360 naira i yeah i also got scented candles i wanted to get into scented candles so i got these two scented candles and um this one cost me 100 and 1040 naira and this one cost me 1160 
Naira. This one smells so good. Okay, so another thing I got was household things, things for cleaning the house. This is a disinfectant and this was 895 Naira. This cost 825 Naira. And I got I got something for cleaning the towels at home. This was 660 Naira. I also got hypo toilet clean and, and this cost me 940 Naira for one. And I got tea because I love tea and this was this is the Lloyd's digestion tea and this was 950 naira I also got toothpaste and I got I think I got about three of these each one cost 670 naira and I also got soap about 470 naira for a pack I spent 690 naira on toothbrush and on Juliet on shaving sticks I spent another 620 naira yeah, so I also bought a lot of noodles and not a lot because we don't really eat a lot in this house. I try and minimize how, how much we eat and process noodles and stuff. So this was 120 naira per pack and this was 80 naira per pack. But this one I spent a total of 685 naira for about 8 packs and this one I spent a total of 480 naira for 4 packs. Yeah, so I think from spa, I've even turned the receipt from spa. That's um, basically what I got. I got a number of drinks. Uh, yeah, I'm not show you, but yeah, I got like juice. I don't really take drinks like that. This is mainly for my husband. Beer, you know, desperado beer, Henneken. I think this is the most expensive um, alcohol we got, and this was about two thousand naira about 2000 something naira so i got like juice and tiger nuts that got me i take i get everything all together and summed up to around 5000 naira for drinks yeah moving on i went to ebano and what i just got from ebano were things that i couldn't find in spa yeah so i got a big bag i got a big bag of popcorn and yeah these are the popcorns i like but yeah i got 20 I got 20 popcorns and this will last me for a while because I don't I won't eat it every day. I bought spaghetti and I don't bought four packs so I don't like I would rather us eat like not less processed carbs in this house. Okay, so another thing I got from Ebano was bulgur wheat. I recently just got into eating bulgur and honestly guys it's the best substitute for rice. It's even tastier than rice and it keeps you fuller for longer i promise like it keeps you fuller for longer my husband doesn't eat it with me because he's a he eats with his eyes but you know me i don't really care each one of them this one is actually cheaper and this one costs about 950 naira and then this one on the other hand is more expensive and this cost 1300 naira of course in ebano i went to the village market if you don't know what the village market is it's basically a place where they sell mainly things that you can find in the market so i went there and i bought um tiger nut mil milk uh, i got five and each one was 495 naira that thing i bought from ebano is gari and i just bought gari for us to drink in this house i got a jebu gari 850 naira i also got yellow gari which cost 1150 naira okay so um the next thing i bought was i went to osata and you know and this is like a chinese shop they sell everything it's like a supermarket but they mainly specialize in chinese stuff and i just like to go there to buy my um continental my oriental spices and this is um oyster sauce cost 2000 naira i haven't tried this one before but i just feel like there's a lot of chinese written on it so it would be nice the second thing i got was light soy sauce I was told that when you're cooking that you know the asian people really love the light one it's a lot sweeter than the dark one yeah this one cost 1600 naira final thing which i got was sesame oil which was more expensive and this was 3900 naira like trust me if you mix these three things in your fried rice like people will be asking you if you are share finally the last thing i bought was fresh tomatoes fresh onions and fresh um what's it called shombo and i bought this from the roadside around my house because in all honesty i feel like they are cheaper than people in the market and so i got the tomato for around 2500 naira that's the size of tomatoes you get and i got the onions for 500 naira and i got the 
Shombo for 500 naira. So onto Instagram, I got fruit juices from Instagram, including tiger nuts and fruit juice. I got 10 bottles of tiger nuts, which was 5,000 naira, and 10 bottles of fruit juice, which was 5,000 naira, making 10,000 naira in total. All right, so guys, I have now calculated everything, every single thing I have spent money on from the market from the local market to the supermarket to the chinese market to the roadside market to instagram every single thing i have calculated and my total bill came up to hold up hold up hold up my total bill came up 100,429 so guys like i said i don't know how we are going to continue like this in this country because um hundred thousand and hundred thousand four hundred and twenty naira is not a joke i don't i don't think, think we eat anything special i don't think we eat out of the ordinary i think we eat basic normal normal things but this this is what we require to like to eat and to live basically or more or if we're a family of three is going to inch into at least hundred and fifty thousand naira so i think if we divide it per head that means that as if normal person to money you spend in a for a month plus is like fifty thousand naira plus some people might think it's not a lot some people might think it's a lot but you know whatever your whatever work rocks your boots i just want you to know that in the year 2019 th things were not this bad with hundred thousand naira you can shop for six months okay maybe i'm exaggerating but with hundred thousand naira you could have shopped for at least three months comfortably but now most of these things might finish within a month but like we have we right now nigeria takes the cup on the country that spends the most like food cost is like like it's moving mad like it's just rising exponentially so guys um i hope that gives you an idea of how much food stuff is and at least the quantity of the food stuff i hope you enjoyed this video if you did if you did enjoy this video give this video a thumbs up like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed like if you haven't subscribed uh, you need to come and tell me if we are quarreling if we are fighting because i am very sure that we are not fighting like i'm very sure that we're not fighting guys follow me on instagram if you haven't my handle is always up here somewhere and i'll definitely see you guys in my next one bye